Welcome to another video. In this video, we are solving for 25 to the power of x minus 20 to the power of x is equal to 16 to the power of x. The first thing we're going to do with this one is divide the whole equation by 16 to the power of x. So let's write that out. Now with this, our 16 to the power of x's are going to cancel. And our 20 to the power of x over 16 to the power of x will be able to reduce down to 5 over 4 to the power of x. Because 20 and 16 both have a factor of 4. So let's write that out. Now, another thing we can do to simplify this is 25 and 16 both have a perfect square. So we can rewrite five, 25 over 16 as 5 over 4 squared. So let's do that. We'll have 5 over 4 squared or to the power of 2x minus 5 over 4 to the power of x is equal to 1. Now, using exponent properties, we can pull out our x value and set 5 over 4 squared all to the power of x. Because if we have two exponents multiplying, we can pull one of them out and set that to the power. So it'll look like this. We'll have 5 over 4 to the power of x. We'll pull that 2 out. So it's 5 over 4 to the power of x squared minus 5 over 4 to the power of x is equal to 1. Now that both of these are 5 over 4 to the power of x, we can substitute 5 over 4 to the power of x for, we'll say u, the letter u. And so we'll have u squared minus u is equal to 1. We'll subtract 1 and we'll have u squared minus u minus 1 is equal to 0, which we should recognize by now that this is a great situation to be in because we can now use the quadratic formula to solve for 0. So let's go ahead and write that out. As I always mention, if you're uncomfortable with the quadratic formula, I made a video talking about it and explaining how to use the quadratic formula. We won't go through it in this video, but if we reduce this down and solve for the square root in here, we'd have to be equal to a negative times a negative one, which we'll write out will end up being a positive one plus or minus square root of 5 over 2 times 1, which will be 2. So let's go to a clean slate. So once we simplified that, we would have two possible solutions. We'd have a 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 and a 1 minus square root of 5 over 2. Now that we solved for u, we can substitute our original u value back in, which is 5 over 4 to the power of x. So let's do that. Now, something we need to recognize right off the bat is that the right side of this equation is going to give us a negative value. And when it comes to exponents, there is no exponential value we could put in here that would make 5 over 4 negative. So therefore, there is no real solution to this answer. So that means that our only possible answer is 5 over 4 to the power of x is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. So in order to solve this, we're going to use the natural log function. So we have natural log both sides. And now we're going to apply logarithm exponential properties. It's a fancy way of saying it. But basically, if we have the log of x to the power of b, we can pull that b value, that exponent, into the front of the logarithm. So we'd have b log x. In this case, our exponent is x. So we can pull that out to the front. We'll have x natural log of 5 over 4 is equal to natural log of 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. Now we just need to do some simple algebra and divide by natural log of 5 over 4 so that we can get x by itself. So we'll have x is equal to natural log of 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 which is all over natural log of 5 over 4. If you have any questions, please comment down below. Otherwise, if you found this video helpful, I would appreciate it if you liked and subscribed. Otherwise, thank you for watching.